No. No, no, no. Hold on. Huh. Okay, I'm still on time. So anyway, not really. <laughs> um, I, usually when this happens, I have already shot the video like way before and like on time usually. Um, and my computer's just being stupid and not uploading the video correctly. But actually this time, last night was my birthday, my 21st birthday, so that I can finally um, do this on camera. Anyway, um, let's talk about the subject of lucid dreaming. Um, this is this week's topic, lucid dreaming. Uh, I have never been like taught by any grand sage master of Pokemon or lucid dreaming about lucid dreaming, so I can't offer you any like crazy things like I usually do. But um, I have experienced with, I have experimented with lucid dreaming a little bit on my own. They say that the best way to um, start having lucid dreams is to keep a dream journal because once you remember your dreams you start to remember patterns in your dreams and once you're dreaming again you'll start to realize oh wait these certain things mean I'm dreaming blah 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 and then the point of lucid dreaming is to realize that you're dreaming and then you are able to control this dream through your own thoughts you can change the setting you can change the people in it you can change what you're doing in it usually sometimes it feels like you can't do certain things but you can't others and it's weird lucid dreaming is so weird i swear to god but um i have had a few lucid dreaming experiences most of my lucid dreaming experiences actually kind of happened on accident um whenever i was meditating and a lot of people um kind of connect lucid dreaming with astro projection they kind of wonder where the fine line is between the two and my differentiation of this is lucid dreaming would mean that you're not actually going anywhere in a physical location. And you're just, you know, dreaming in your own head. You're going on your own adventure. And astral projection is where you are actually going somewhere like the spiritual world, um, the normal world, the normal realm that you see like your day-to-day -day objects in. And your house and things like that, that would be the difference usually between astral projection and lucid dreaming, although they both are usually achieved through variously similar methods. So they're extremely similar um, happenings <laughs> that happen whenever usually you're sleeping or meditating or whatever, but lucid dreaming is um, controlling your dreams, and the tool that lucid dreaming offers is you can really explore your mind once you learn how to lucid dream and um, a few lucid dreams that I've had is I remember one I woke up in my room and um, usually the lucid dreams I have are so weird <laughs> so weird because I don't personally try to control it even though I realize hey this is a dream unless it starts freaking me out then I'm like wake up 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 but um yeah so I usually don't try to control it, I just kind of enjoy the ride. I should probably try to control it sometimes a little bit more. I do try to control it a little bit, like I'll start flying or I'll burst wings from my chest and become X-Men. But you know, um, I usually don't try to control it too radically. So I should probably try that. But I will leave you guys with one technique. I feel like this video is lame because I don't have too many um, stories. Oh wait, I was telling a story. Dang it. Dang it. Anyway, <laughs> um, my dream that I had that was fairly recent about lucid dream, at least I'm pretty sure it was a lucid dream, it could have been a natural projection. This is how freaking similar they kind of are, and it's somewhat difficult to tell. Um, anyway, so I woke up in my room, and uh, I walked out into the kitchen, and I saw, like, this little sliver of energy-looking substance, like, sliver in the air, you know. And then whenever I would turn it would, like, get bigger, like, it was like a paper-thin thing, you know what I mean? And it, I could tell in the dream that this was like a portal to the spiritual realm, but um, that's usually all I remember in that dream, except that I kept waking up in the dream, and I was still dreaming, 
and I kept going to see the portal again. <laughs> but, um, yeah, they say that you can fly in things like that in your lucid dreams, and that's about as close as we humans can currently get to the actual sensation of flying, is flying in your lucid dreams. Um, but anyway, the one technique that I was going to leave you guys with is kind of a weird technique, but, um, they say that it, that it works, so what you do is you hold your hand up above your head, and while you are going to sleep, the theory is that your hand is going to fall and hit you on the head or in the face or something, and it's going to wake you back up, and then you put your arm back up again until you start to fall back asleep, and then it's going to fall and wake you up again, and it's going to keep doing this until you get to the point where you're so physically exhausted that um, lucid dreaming or astral projection will happen all on their own, and it almost comes effortless. So, give that a try. Um, I def my strongest suggestion is to use a dream journal and write down every freaking dream that you have. Um, yeah, that's about all I know about lucid dreaming, sadly. But thanks for watching, you guys. I'm gonna <coughs> I'm gonna go.